Hello. So uh, thanks so much for watching my video. Um, if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe. And if you're interested in me critiquing your Etsy shop, there's a link in the description that you can click on and it will take you to my Fiverr gig where you can go ahead and make the purchase. So if you're interested in that, take a look. And if not, it's all good. Enjoy the video. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello. <clears throat> so uh, first, I just want to say thank you for ordering my gig on Fiverr. I'm going to go ahead and do a critique of your Etsy shop. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, so right now we're on your Etsy shop. And the first thing that I want to talk to you about is your first impression and your branding. So the idea uh, when someone goes to your Etsy shop and they're on your home page, they should just be able to look at your Etsy shop and know exactly what your shop is about and what it is that you sell. Um, and I think you do a pretty good job with that, with this cover photo right here. You know, I see the bed, so I, you know, I can see that you're selling some type of, uh, you know, uh, duvet covers, maybe some baby clothes, some women's clothes. Um, the only thing is that it's kind of narrow, the photo. Usually the banner photos are a little kind of like thicker. Um, I'll show you some examples of things you might want to do. Um, but I still think it's pretty good. It gives a good uh, first impression of what it is you sell. Um, your logo, I think, is a kind of a little weird, to be honest, because it has like the large letters and then kind of slim. I would probably just keep it all the same kind of um, font. You know, if you're going to go with the big letters, stay with those. Or if you're going to go with the... Um, you know, slimmer letters go with those. I do like how it does match up with the orange here. And then you have this nice profile photo as well with the nice orange leaf it looks like. So it does kind of all match. It gives it that nice kind of fall autumn feel. Um, so I think uh, for the first impression of branding overall, pretty good. Um, here are just some, are, here are some examples that I want to show you on maybe ways you can improve uh, your first impression and branding though. Um, so I was... On Etsy, and I was looking at some other um, popular stores that sell uh, linens and duvet covers and stuff like that, because so I think that's what you mainly sell. Um, so here, I mean, this isn't the best, but this is to give you an idea of something you can do. Like this four photos like this is pretty popular. I come here, and I know exactly what this person is selling. Um, they have a nice, clean logo and then a nice profile photo. Um this one, too, you see, same thing. They're going with the five. I think four is better, to be honest, than five. But, again, same thing. I know exactly what's going on here and what this store is about and what they sell. And then this last one. This is probably the best one just because it's the best photo. It's very clean, very crisp. It's very good lighting. It's bright. Um, and you can see here that the logo and the profile match. So I think what you have is good. But I just wanted to show you that just to give you some ideas if you did want to uh, improve it. <clears throat> okay, so next I want to talk to you about your announcement. So I would recommend that you keep your announcement updated. Me personally, I like to do it the first of every month. It just makes your store look fresh and, and up to date. Um, let's see what you got here. Okay, so I would probably beef this up a little bit. Um, for my shop, I say, have a question, send me a message. I usually respond within minutes. Let me just go ahead and show you my shop. So this is my shop right here. I sell t-shirts. See, I sell t-shirts. Um, I went with the branding theme, so I have all photos matching. It gives a nice professional, clean look. And then you can see my announcement is updated. And then I have these bullet points that say, have a question, send me a message. Usually respond within minutes. Then the next one I talk about um, how everything in my shop comes with free shipping, production time, shipping time, how many happy customers and reviews I have. I'm a family man and small business owner, a call to action, and then um, two links to my two other Etsy shops, and I use these emojis. All right, so this is a pretty popular uh, way to do an announcement. Um, so if you want, you can do something like this. And then let's go back. I'm going to get into your listings, your photos, and SEO in a second here. I just want to um, finish going over your homepage. So here you're missing sections. You want to have sections because here you sell a lot of uh, duvet covers, but you also sell masks, and it looks like you sell bathrobes. What else are you selling? It looks like you're selling some men and women's clothes, baby clothes. So um, I would recommend having sections. It just makes it easier for your customer to shop. Like if I'm just looking for a duvet cover, I can just click on your section. Like if you look at my store, 
you know, I have a ton of listings and if someone's just looking for a school shirt, they can just click here. It just makes it easier for the customer to browse your store. Um, so if you add more products, you know, I would recommend um, putting those in sections and making sections for all the different types of products that you have. Okay. So you got some pretty nice stuff here. You got some good reviews. Um, towards the end of the critique, I'm going to show you how you can get really nice reviews with, you know, five stars with photos. I'll share that with you later. Um, okay, so I want to talk to you about your about me. So I think your about me is actually really good, to be honest. Um, you know, you want to have photos, which you do have, and you're showing photos of the materials that you use, your workplace, you know, things that you use to make your um, clothes and duvet covers. So this is really good. One thing I might say is you might want to consider adding a video if you can. I was looking at these stores, which one was it? One of these had a video. These guys right here. So if you want, you can do something like this. You know, videos are very popular. People love to watch videos. So... You, know, you can get creative and if you want you can come up with a video but overall I think your um, photos are really nice and then you have a few paragraphs so this is really good I might consider maybe putting a space right here just to kind of make it a little easier to read but I think your about me is really good so good job there you got your shipping time uh, payment options returns and exchanges good okay FAQ so I would um, improve I would recommend adding more questions to your FAQ so right here you have custom and personalized orders so first of all that's not even a question so you want to say you know do you do custom and personalized orders question mark and instead of just saying yes you know you want to like add a little bit more there or at least that's what I would recommend I would say yes um, you know I I or, or we are glad to do custom and personalized orders just send us a message and we'll get back to you within 24 hours or 48 hours or whatever so you know I would probably improve this and I would add some more questions so just think of some questions that you know you get um, frequently by your customers um, you can also take a look at some of these other stores that I showed you to see what they have if you look at my shop you know it doesn't have to be nothing crazy but you want to give the customers uh, as much information as possible to help them make a decision. And just think about some questions that your customers might have for you. So you see I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Nothing crazy. But you want to have about three to six questions I would recommend. Um, okay, but overall, uh, really good. I would just maybe recommend uh, considering improving the first impression and branding. And definitely adding in those sections and an FAQ. Um, and the announcement as well, if I didn't say that. Okay, so I was taking some notes on your store here. Where are they? Right here. Okay, brand new announcement about me. Okay, so now I want to talk to you about your photos and especially your thumbnails. Um, so besides the SEO and titles, your thumbnails are probably the most important thing to get sales on Etsy. You know, your thumbnails will make or break you. You have to have really, really, really good thumbnails. You have to go above and beyond. You have to have, your thumbnails have to be on point. Um, so what makes a good thumbnail? Uh, what makes a good thumbnail is a thumbnail where you can just look at the photo or the thumbnail and just know exactly what the product is without having to read the title. All right. Um, it should not be cut off. Like here it's kind of cut off because that makes it hard to see. Like this one is really nice. I like this one because I can see what it is. But this one, it's cut off. So I wouldn't recommend to have it being cut off. It should have really good lighting, all right? Like I like this one because I can see the whole, um, you know, duvet cover, but the lighting is not that bright. Um, and then also you want to have white backgrounds like this. Like this is a really good one. Even though it's cut off, I can still see what the product is. I, I just look at this. I know exactly what it is. It's got good lighting, white background. Um, so th that's what makes a good thumbnail. So let's take a look at some of your thumbnails. So... Pretty good, pretty good. This one's cut off. You know, the lighting on this one isn't so good. This one's pretty good. You know, maybe some better lighting. Um, you know, try and use white backgrounds instead, like what you had up here for the robe. Um, let's take a look at some of these other stores to see what they're doing. Okay, so I 
the first thing that I noticed about these guys is that they use the same thumbnail every time. That that gives it a nice professional, clean look. Um, you know, they're very consistent with their thumbnail. It's bright. I can see the whole product. Nothing's cut off. And I look at this, I know exactly what it is. They're selling duvet covers or, you know, bedding, basically. Um, let's take a look at these guys. So what I like about these thumbnails is that they're very bright, the very good lighting. Even though they're kind of cut off, that I don't like too much, we can see very good lighting. It's very bright. You know, it's, uh, it pops, it catches your eye, it makes you want to click on it. Let's take a look at these guys. Okay, same thing here. What I like about these guys, it's also very good lighting, but they use a lot of uh, white backgrounds. Etsy has told us that the best-selling uh, listings have white backgrounds. You can see it's very clean, very crisp. When I look at yours, I think yours are good, but they're not as professional looking as the other ones that I was showing you. Here are mine. I also went with the consistency. Every t-shirt is the same thumbnail. <clears throat> it's got the white background. You can see what it is. Um, so take a look at some of those other stores, some, what, some uh, other best sellers are doing, and I would recommend you know, trying to get some better thumbnails, thumbnails that are more bright, uh, better quality photo, higher resolution, where nothing's cut off. Uh, it's going to increase your click-through rate dramatically. Um, okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at one of your listings. Okay, so the first thing that I noticed that I like is that you're using all 10 photos. So that's really good. Etsy gives us 10 photos, slots, and you want to make sure you're using all of them. If possible, you know, you can add a video. That'll help. But I think these are, are, are good. Again, maybe you can do better on the lighting, but I still think it's good because you're using a lot of uh, photos. You're giving the customer, you know, the customer can't, you know, hold the, the cover. They can't actually touch it and feel it. You know, so all they have to do is go off your photos. So I think it's good that you have a lot of photos there. Let's see what these guys are doing with their photos. Let's just take a. So you can see the quality of these photos are really nice. The packaging. So you can get some ideas from these stores. One of the best tips I can give you is just find other stores that are in the same uh, niche as you that are successful and uh, just do what they're doing. You know, study them, look at their photos, look at their thumbnails, look at their SEO, look at their tags. So this one only has one photo, so that's not good. Look at this one. Well, I think you get the idea. Um, okay, back to this. So yeah, so pretty good job with the photos, but I might recommend trying to get some better quality photos with uh, better lighting, kind of like what I showed you right here. Um, okay, what did I want to talk about next? The, uh, the SEO. Okay, so the idea with the SEO or the title is you want to use keywords in your title and your tags I'm talking about the title now. You want to use keywords in your title that are auto-suggested by Etsy, relevant to your product, you know, or specific to your product, and that are low in competition. So let's take a look at your first keyword, which is the most weighted keyword. And let's see if it's auto-suggested by Etsy. So you can see nothing comes up for that. But I bet you there's probably something similar. Bam, right here. Yellow duvet cover linen. All right. Um... So let's take a look at that one. So this is a good keyword because it is uh, auto-suggested by Etsy. It's uh, specific or relevant to your product. And let's take a look at the competition. Yeah, so really low competition. So this is a good keyword right here because you can see there's very little competition. I'll show you in a little bit how you can even get this lower. So those are the type of keywords that you want to use. You want to like... Um, you want to put yourself in the shoes of the customer and just ask yourself, what would my customer search for on Etsy if they were uh, looking for my product? And you start typing words in, and once you see words that are auto-suggested, relevant, and low in competition, 
those are the ones that, that you want to use. Um, like you're, you know, you want to pretend like you're a detective, basically. And I went ahead and actually came up with the title for you. So right here. So this is it right here. So all these keywords right here are all auto-suggested by Etsy. They're all relevant to your product, specific to your product, um, and they're all low in competition. All right. And they're also long tail keywords. The long tail keywords are like three or four words. Those are really good because they're very specific. Um, so if you want, you could uh, use this, but I wouldn't recommend that you just go in here and just start editing the title of this listing because that's gonna confuse Etsy. You'll see here that this title matches with the URL. So if you just take the title that I gave you and edit this listing, uh, the URL and title are not gonna match and that's gonna confuse Etsy and this listing is gonna fall off the cliff. Um, so, um, what I would recommend you do, oh, and also these keywords are, um, they're, uh, ranked on Etsy and indexed with Google. So that's also why it's going to uh, hurt the listing if you just edit it. But what I would recommend that you do, if you want to use that, um, title that I gave you, you just want to click on one of your listings. Let's show you an example. And you want to click on this copy button right here so that you can make a duplicate listing. Okay, so don't edit your listings, make duplicates. You just take copy right here, and then you can take the title and tags I gave you, copy and paste it in that way, and you can start fresh. All right. Um, so that's what I would consider doing is uh, make duplicate listings. Don't edit your listings. Uh, okay. Take a look at your description here. So description, okay, this is really good here. I like how you have the, the title, the first thing in the description. I do that as well. You see here, that's gonna help you get found on Google. So good job. Details, okay, so you got a really good description. So good job with the description. Let's take a look at your tags. Okay, so right here, you're missing tags. So Etsy gives us 13 tags, and you want to make sure that you're using all 13. And the tags, it's the same idea with the keywords in the title. You know, you want them to be auto-suggested by Etsy, low competition, um, and relevant and specific to your product. And I would also recommend, actually, you're not doing it here, but sometimes people just use, like, one word uh, tags, like, like duvet or bedding, for example. I would avoid doing that. I would make sure to use, like, uh, tags that have two words or three words if possible. And I went ahead and I actually came up with 13 tags here for you that are low in competition, specific to your product, and auto-suggested by Etsy. Um, so you can use those if you want when you make the duplicate listings. And something that I just thought about as well here, I was looking at your photos. So if you have space for more photos, something that you can do that I do with my listings I have the thumbnail, then I have all the size guides, then I have these infographics um, right here where I say production time and shipping, and I also talk about the um, how many reviews and sales I have when I was established and I got gladly accept returns, and then I say want more information, read the description, send me a message, favorite my shop, ask about custom orders. This is me trying to get me get them to engage with me. So that's just to give you some ideas. If you um, you know have more uh, slots for photos, you can make these infographics to um, make sure you got all ten photos filled. Okay. So what's next here? Let's keep going. Sales and free shipping. I want to put sales in here. Sales. Okay. So let me go back to your shop real quick. So I notice you have almost everything on free shipping, but nothing is on sale. Okay. At least I don't see anything on sale. I would recommend that you have everything on free shipping and everything on sale all the time, every day. And there's a couple of reasons why. So if I just go to Etsy, well, actually I could probably just do it right here. Um, and I go for like um, Bay cover let's 
you gotta type that word in, you're gonna see there's a ton of results. All right, um, eighty-five thousand. That's a lot of competition. But one of the ways to help you stand out is that if you have uh, free shipping and on sale, you get you get it like this. So they show it. They show it right here. So it's gonna help you get clicked on. And it's gonna help your click through rate because it's, it's gonna stand out from some of the other ones. But more importantly, what I want to show you is that. When you have everything on free shipping and on sale, when people use these filters right here, a lot of uh, Etsy customers are savvy. They use these filters. If I click on free shipping and on sale and I click on apply, you're going to see this 85,000 drop down to like 20, yeah, 22,000. So now we just got rid of so much competition and it's a lot easier to compete. All right. So that's going to help you uh, get more exposure. All right. And I would also recommend that you do 24 hour sales. So, let me just move this over here. If you look at um, my listings, they all have this little green button right here because I'm always doing 24-hour sales or daily sales. And the reason I do that is to get this green button because this is going to create urgency. All right? It's called um, fear of loss because people are going to see this and be like, oh, man, if I don't buy this T-shirt right now, I'm going to miss out on the 20%. They're going to have what's called fear of loss. And it's one of the things that's going to help them take action to uh, purchase your listing while they're looking at it. Right? So this is <clears throat> uh, very powerful. Having this green button right here, it's going to create that urgency. So I would definitely recommend that. And the way you do that is you just go to uh, marketing, sales and coupons, click on new special offer, click on run sale. Click on to the discount. I like to do 20%. And today is the 6th. So let's set one up for tomorrow. You will go September 7th to September 7th. Hit continue and then you add in all your set sections. And when you do that, you're going to get those uh, green button like this right here. All right. So I would definitely do that. I When I wake up every morning, I just um, I fulfill my t-shirt orders. And then I just go ahead and make a sale. It takes like three seconds. All right, and it's uh, and it's very uh, powerful. It creates that urgency. Um, okay, let's see what else. So I would definitely recommend doing Etsy ads. I don't know if you're doing Etsy ads or not. Maybe you are, but um, if you are not, I would recommend it. Me personally, I'm doing three dollars and ninety nine cents a day. Um, I've been able to get uh, I'm able to be profitable at that amount. But um, if you can do more, like 5, 10, 15, you know, uh, go for it. Uh, see how it goes for like a month and then just kind of like find your sweet spot. Um, reviews. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at your reviews. So you got 128 reviews. So that's uh, pretty good. And you got some photos there. Nice. Take a look at my shop real quick. So you can see here, you know, I got a good amount of reviews, 833, all five star, um, and, a, and a lot of them. Let's see if we can find some good ones here. A lot of them are like long paragraphs, and they say, um, you know, highly recommend. So yeah, so something like this. A lot of them say like highly recommend like this. Um, this one's a good one. Amazing service, amazing t-shirt, highly recommend. And people leave a lot of photos. Oh man, sorry. So like if I just click on this t-shirt, for example, you'll see Etsy puts all these photos of all these selfies. Oh, this is a new one I haven't seen yet. Nice. Um, so you can see here a lot of people showing off their t-shirts. And it's not because I'm special or anything. There's a, there's a reason why I'm able to get these. I send every customer that I get uh, four very specific messages. I'm going to share with you those messages now. All right. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, so these are the four messages I send to every Etsy customer to get five-star reviews. And I'll throw this in on the gig as a bonus so that you can use it too. But you want to make sure that you have the, um, the Etsy seller app, all right? So that when you get a sale, you get notified. You hear the ka-ching sound, maybe you already have it, but in case you don't, make sure to get it. 
Um, and you want to send them this first message right here saying, hello, thank you so much for your purchase. I will send you a tracking link once I have it. If for any reason there's a problem when you receive your order, send me a message so I can fix it ASAP. Thanks again and take care, Mike. So this is a really good message just to acknowledge that you actually received their order. But it's also a really good message to send to avoid getting negative reviews because sometimes things can get lost in the mail. Um, it can be damaged when they receive it. And instead of them just going straight to Etsy and leaving you a nasty one-star review, all right, they're good. there's a higher chance that they'll go to you first because you planted the seed um, that if there is a problem, to, to send you a message that you can fix the problem. All right? So this is a good way to avoid getting negative reviews. And then the second message is once you have the tracking link, you want to send it to them. So you want to say, hello, I want to let you know that your order has been shipped and it's on its way. I've copied and pasted the tracking link below so you can track your order. Thanks so much and have a great day, Mike. And then you copy and paste the tracking link. So this is a really good message to send because you're letting the customer know what's up with their order, where the order's at, and you're giving them a resource for them to track it. Uh, customers on Etsy love this type of communication. I get a lot of uh, thank you messages. I really appreciate it. You know, response to this message that I send right here. And then the third message is you want to go into your orders. You want to click on completed and then filter by delivered. And when you, um, and then you want to look at your, you know, your orders that have been delivered and you want to send them this third message right here saying, hello, I saw that your order arrived. I want to make sure you're happy with your purchase. If there's something wrong with your order, kindly let me know so I can fix it ASAP. If you absolutely love it and only if you have the time, it would really help me if you could leave a quick and honest review about my service and the quality of the product. We'd love to see people wearing our apparel and selfies are highly appreciated. Thanks so much and have a great day, Mike. So this is the message that I send where I'm able to get those long uh, five-star you know, paragraph long reviews where people leave photos and then the fourth message again you want to have it set up so that you get notified on your phone when you get a review um, and once you get the review you want to respond with this fourth message right here saying hello I just saw the awesome review you left I want to thank you so much for taking the time to do that I really appreciate it Mike so just a good way to um, button up the deal and the sale on a good note and show some uh, express some appreciation for them for them leaving you a nice five-star review and then just a couple uh, side notes here. Make sure to use their first name in each message. So hello, John. Hello, Mary. And then make sure to use your first name at the end of each message. Um, so like I said, I'll add this on the gig. Me, I'm kind of more like serious and to the point. But if you want to use like humor, emojis, you know, feel free to chop this up. Make it your own. Make it fit your brand, your personality. All right. Um, okay, what else do we got here? Sales, free shipping, Etsy ads, reviews, custom message. Okay, so you probably get a lot of uh, messages from people saying, hey, can you customize this for me? Or they're just asking you questions in general. I know I get a lot of questions, and there's a way that I've been responding to customers or potential customers uh, to help me get the sale uh, nine, almost nine out of ten times. All right, and I'm going to share with you that message now. Let me just click out of this. So if I go to my orders, and if I, let's say this person right here sent me a message asking me if I could do like a custom design form or something, this is a message that I would send. Oh, and just a quick note, you might already know this or not, but in case you don't, those uh, review messages that I just showed you right here. You can have them as snippets so you can just have them already like pre-made so you can just click on it all you have to do is just type in their name makes things pretty easy so what I would do is I would send this message right here saying uh, regarding the custom order I would say hello I would be more than glad to customize this for you please go ahead and make the purchase and then the notes the seller kindly type in the exact text you would like on the t-shirt thank you for considering my shop and I cannot wait to get started on this for you um, so this is a really good message to send because you're, um, you're guiding them. You're holding them by the hand and you're telling them what to do. It's called assuming the clothes. Um, you're saying, yeah, I'd be happy to do that for you. Make the purchase and then give me the instructions. You know, people are like sheep. Customers are like sheep. They need to be guided. Um, so feel free to use this if you like. I think uh, you'll find it beneficial. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, Three SEO tricks. Okay, so there's <clears throat> a few things you can do to help yourself get bumped up in the rankings. So 
we go back to my store. So you've probably seen this right here, the new star seller. So you want to make sure that you're responding to messages as quickly as possible. You know, you don't want to wait more than 24 hours. If you see here, I replied to one later than 24 hours and they, and they punished me for it. All right. You also want to make sure that you're getting five star reviews and you want to make sure everything's shipped out on time. If you do those three things, it'll help you in, with the, in the ranks. And you also will get this nice little badge that's going to build your credibility and uh, help you get more sales. So make sure you're doing these three things. Um, okay, three steps to get. Okay, so. Um, getting sales on Etsy is basically a three-step process. So the first step is that you have to be found. You know, people have to actually find your listing. And the way you get found is by having good SEO. And like I said earlier, good SEO are using uh, keywords that are auto-suggested by Etsy, relevant to your product, and low in competition. All right, so make sure that you're doing or that you're using good SEO keywords. And then the second thing is that you have to get clicked on. All right, so how do you get clicked on? You have, you get clicked on by having really good thumbnails. That's why I was um, you know, trying to express to you the importance of having thumbnails that really pop, that make you want to click on them, that have good lighting, where it's easy to see the product, you know, they're bright. Um, you know, getting clicked on is the second part and it's, it's a huge part of the sale. And then once you get clicked on, you have to uh, get them to buy. So how do you get them to buy? You get them to buy by having really good photos so that they, they actually know what they're buying. Cause they, like I said, you, they can't touch it or, or hold the product. You know, they're just going off your photos. Then you have to have reviews also with photos. That's going to give the customer more confidence. And then you want to be using those 24 hour sales, all right? Those daily sales. So you get that green button to create that urgency. Right, that's going to motivate the customer to take action. All right, so that's basically the three-step process, and everything that I've talked to you about in this past half half hour uh, is going to help you accomplish that. You know, so just think about that when you make new listings or you make duplicate listings. You have to get found. You have to get clicked on. You have to get them to buy. Um, okay, check the fiber gig. Let's see here. Um, how can I make this a great experience for you? Hopefully receive a fair tips and advice on how to improve my shop for further improvement. Okay, let's go ahead and just recap real, real quick. Where is it right here? Okay, so I think you have a, a good shop. You know, I might recommend adding some more listings. You know, maybe try and get up to like 50 or 100 if you can and make sure to add those sections. Um, but I, I, I think it's a good shop. I think where you need the most work um, is basically on your thumbnails and your SEO. All right, that's what I would work on if I were you. I would try and get better thumbnails that are brighter, uh, that pop more, that um, you know make me want to click on them. And I would also improve your SEO. Make sure to be using keywords that are auto suggested by Etsy, low in competition, and relevant to your product. Um, I will throw this out there. I do have an SEO gig on Fiverr, so maybe if you're, you know, if you don't have a lot of time, if you're busy, if you have another job or something, you're just low on time or whatever, and you want someone to do it for you, um, this is my Etsy SEO gig, and I do like 15 tags for only five bucks, so you can watch the video, take a look at the reviews if that's something you're interested in. Um, I'll leave the link in the, um, when I submit the work, but if not, if you want to do it yourself, just make sure that you're using words, like I said, auto-suggested, relevant to your product and low in competition. But that's what I think basically you need, you need to work on mainly with your shop, the thumbnails and SEO. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, send me a message. I'd be glad to help you. Um, thanks so much again for uh, purchasing my gig on Fiverr. I really appreciate it. And if you think I did a good job, I would really appreciate an honest review. Okay, so thanks again for your order, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.